Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to another video, another vlog, another day, another slide. Yeah, I said it. So today I just have a few errands to run. Car wash, Target, because I need a few things, and lunch, because I want to. What I'm really kind of excited about, I've had this little package here for a while, and I did take a little sneak peek. I'm gonna show you in one second. We're gonna unbox it together. I'm excited for it, but I was kind of holding off on it because I was trying to get through some of my other makeup and stuff. I'm trying to get better about using what I have first. I've been kind of excited to try it because because Revlon was nice enough to send this to me. Revlon Illuminance Makeup Plus Skincare. This isn't sponsored. This is literally, I try to tell you guys whether I bought it or it was gifted or it's sponsored. This is just gifting. But I'm really excited about this because I use Ilia a lot and that's got like the skincare stuff in it. I haven't used Ilia in a while because I ran out and I had a whole bunch of other stuff. But then this arrived on my doorstep. I don't know what that accent was. This arrived on my doorstep and it says makeup and skincare. One, they have a serum tint. I love a good like lightweight foundation yeah and then this one's like a medium coverage revlon illuminance skincare foundation and then the tent and then some blush i feel like a school teacher reading you guys a little book fun fact when i was little i wanted to be a school teacher a vet or a mom growing up those were like the three things that that's what i wanted to do now i feel like a little school teacher to all of you guys talking about makeup i'm gonna try the skin tint because i love a good skin tint i've been using this one lately this is kind of what i've been using i already have a little bit of this on so let's just go in with something similar. I think I'm gonna need the middle one. This foundation has squalene in it. Do I wanna use that? It reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles over time. Medium cup. Oh, maybe we'll try this. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with the medium. 205. Blending nicely. I like it. I'll be back when it's time to try the blushes. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup. I won't bore you with all of that. I just, out of habit, immediately put my Merit blush on. And then I realized that as soon as I swiped it on both cheeks. I'm not gonna take it off, I don't think. I like blush a lot. I usually do a lot of blush anyway. So let's just blend this out a little and then we'll... I cannot believe I did that. I can, actually, I can believe I did that. I put the Merit contour on and then I immediately just went and did the blush. Silly goose. Okay, okay. Maybe it'll help if I just keep rolling. We'll do the Revlon blush. Oh my gosh, it's a gel serum blush. I didn't read that. Gel serum? Sheer buildable cheek coverage. This is so exciting. Delivers a healthy looking glow with superfood complex plus glycerin. Glides on smoothly, blends evenly. Available in four shades. I got all four shades. Oh, this is going to be tough. We're going to go right in with them. I cannot believe I did that. Let me blend the blush that I put on out a little bit more so we can get a good look. Because I've also known the trick to go over cream blushes with like a powder. You guys, I love this stuff. This is um, the Milani. I'm, I know I'm throwing a lot of products at you, but bear with me because this is fun. I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I do. I've really been enjoying makeup lately. This is the Bella Bellini Baked Powder Blush from Milani. The last mm, probably three or four times I've done my makeup, I've gone over the cream because cream's kind of better for more mature skin. And then I put this on over it. It sets it a little too. And it, it gives, it's got like these, y'all, I could, this, seriously. It's got like some like golden flakes in it. And it just kind of gives you like a little highlight glow. That's what I've got on my face right now. I've got this, this Illuminance foundation, then this, then this. <sighs> this is going to be tough. Should we try a color that I don't normally try? These are the colors. That I normally go and then I have the rare beauty in happy, the say in chili, the merit in cheeky, the ilia in at last. I feel like they're all very like similar. Should we try something different? Let's just swatch them. This is fun. I hope you guys, seriously, I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. The one that I was really be drawn towards, that's what I would go for. We're gonna try something. I don't want to try something different. I'm a creature of habit. Ooh, they're all so good. I have a lot of this color on, shade 120. So let's just put a little bit of that on. Okay. I mean, I know there's product on this brush, but there's always product on my brush. Yeah, no, that's really pretty. What do we think? I like it. Should we set it a little bit? I usually do this last. I enjoyed every second of that. I hope you did as well. This is what we're gonna do, but I'm gonna finish getting ready. 
and then I'm gonna get dressed and we're gonna go do our errands. I did everything out of order this morning. Normally I get out of bed, I feed the dogs, I make my bed. I did not make my bed this morning, but I will. And then I do like some light housework and I did none of that. I woke up at my normal time and I just kind of laid in bed for a little while. And then I'm like, you know what? I I wanna go to Cafe Rio today and, and Target. I'm gonna do it all later. I'm just not doing it in the same order. I don't know why I felt the need to tell you guys that. I just feel like I wanna tell you guys everything. Ow, I pinch my eyelid every time on this torture contraption. Every time I'm like, curling your eyelashes doesn't make a difference and then I won't do it. And I'm like, no, it makes a difference. And though I'm not very good at curling them, my eyelashes are pretty short. I used this the other day, Ilia Eye Tent. I just put a little up there on my lid. It can be messy. I like things that can just be like put on like haphazardly and then blend it out. I like that. That is my kind of product, easy. Okay, this is not a makeup tutorial. I really don't know what I'm doing. That's my little robot vacuum. She's a little loud and obnoxious, but I love her. I named her Bestie. But I am gonna go turn her off. It also means it's 10 o'clock because I have her run every day at 10. I wanted to leave here at 10. There she is. This is a mess. I normally consider myself a pretty organized person, but lately with makeup, I feel like the more unorganized, the better. Obviously I have a little extra today because I was trying different things. And why are we blurry? It is a little blurry. This is what I'm working with. Am I on cinematic mode? Is that what was going on? It does look really good, but it's like a huge, it's too big of a file. This, no, we gotta turn it off. I love it, but it's just too big of a file. I was in cinematic mode. Anyway, and then I think I just, I may leave my hair up because it is definitely a hair wash day and I didn't feel like it, but I think I'm just gonna pull some of these down. Is that enough? Okay, I need to get out of the house. Also, I don't know where the tripod is, so you're not getting the aesthetic tripod shots. Look at the pretty flowers. What do you think, Pipe? Oh, just tell him all about it. Want some head scratches? Some ASMR head scratches? I think this is the slowest I've ever gotten out of the house. I am just putzing around today. I am gonna make my bed right now. Oh, that's an interesting place for you. Are you licking up some spilled sauce? Look how cute my grandparents are. Adorable. My grandparents on my dad's side. They're no longer with us. Oh, so cute. I might be on a picture somewhere on that table. Ugh, brings back so many memories. Okay, Gigi, your licking is taking away from my very sentimental picture sharing. Thank you for cleaning that. I was gonna get to that later. I think that was some spicy ranch. <laughs> I'm gonna make my bed and then I'm going to get dressed and get out of here and I will see you in the car. You're gonna see the after and then I'll see you in the car. I love you. Look at her tail. I love you. <laughs> you are loved. This outfit's killing me, but I'm not, I'm gonna be out of the car for probably a total of 10 minutes. Well, I'm running in and out of Target. So probably more like out of my car for like 20 minutes. Is this bad? It's not horrible. Hear me out. I said we were gonna be in the car, but then I'm like, I have to explain my outfit. I'm going with my slippers. I slipped these linen pants on. I wore them yesterday for an hour or two, so I've slipped them back on. I didn't sleep in this pajama shirt. I put it on after I showered. And then my favorite cardigan. A lot of people have asked where it's from. I got it from Urban Outfitters like probably two or three years ago. And I got a lot of patterns and colors going on, but here's the key. I'm super comfortable and I've heard the three, two of three rule. Out of hair, makeup, and clothes, you should have two of the three done. So I'm check, check, my hair's done. Well, <laughs> my hair's not really done. <laughs> Maybe I've got one of the three. I just have my makeup done. I don't know, you guys. I say do what you wanna do, do what you're comfortable doing, and, and smile about it, and make your bed. Okay, name the song. Fun game. I keep forgetting to go back and answer them. I feel like everybody's gotten them right so far, at least one person. I just pulled into the car wash. I'm about to pay. I don't really think it needs to be vacuumed out today. I don't think I'm going to because I'm hungry. So we're just gonna get the outside washed off real quick. Let's do the deluxe, please. Back for trash for you today. No, thank you. If there's a stall available to vacuum, I'm gonna go. And if not, that's gonna make the decision for me. I'm actually hoping there's none available, honestly. Here we go. It's been a while. I think I filmed the last time I got a car wash. So whenever that was, that's the last time I got it washed. So I was thinking, on my drive over here. I was just listening to some music and I'm like, you know what? I don't really need 
need that much at Target and I really don't feel like going to Target today. One of the things on my list was flowers. I just love to have some fresh flowers in the kitchen and the ones that I have right now are kind of old. I'm just gonna run to Trader Joe's I think. They have really good flowers and I have to, sorry it's loud in here. Talk a little louder obnoxiously. I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's I think and get flowers. Just run in and get some flowers there and see if I like those better than Target and if they're a little cheaper. So that's my plan. Car wash check. Going to get some food because I am starving. It is 1103. I haven't had a bite to eat today. We're just hanging out. We're just having a good time. Okay are there any stalls available? That car in front of me just pulled in. Let me just make sure because I know I am hungry. Look you guys can see Probably not. It is packed back there. Just don't want to wait. <laughs> Everything always works out for me. No matter how I look at it. Like, I'm hungry. I wanted an excuse to go and not vacuum my car out. Normally, when I need to do something and I don't really want to, I'll usually go do it. And today, I was just like, I'm not. I'm not going to do it. That's the worst thing that I do today. I just need to eat so I can function. Any lettuce or vegan? No, thank you. Just go, please. I'm a hungry girl. I like to eat in my car. It's just a thing that I like to do. Sometimes I will eat outside, but there was too many people there. I couldn't talk to you guys. Well, I could, but it would be awkward. This is what I do. And I'm not gonna just sit right in front of the restaurant and be grubbing in my car. I don't judge people who do. In fact, I probably don't even notice when they're doing it. But to me, like I literally just went across this parking lot. I'm gonna park here. There's really no difference. There's still cars around, but I just feel less awkward. <laughs> Kick my little slippers off my feet. Sitting crisscross applesauce, getting comfy. I'm gonna eat my burrito. It's been a while. This is usually what I do when I get my car washed. Talked about it before, it's close. They're close together. I usually do those together, those two things. So it's been a while. It's delicious. It's a burrito with lots of cheese on it and rice and chicken, like a little picnic in my car. And then we're gonna go get some pretty flowers. I'm so excited. Someone also suggested that I get a plant that, you know, lives a little longer than the, some flowers to like put on my centerpiece. So that's a good idea. I was thinking maybe Googling an orchid, like how long do orchids stay alive? Cause I think I want something not huge. I don't know. I'm gonna just do some research. Maybe I'll do some research while I eat of like a good plants that I could because I want I don't want like a plant on my counter I want a flower but I don't know and like I like orchids because aren't they aren't they tall I might be getting it confused but to me an orchid's the tall the tall one maybe I will buy one plant for somewhere else in the house and see if I can keep that alive all right I'll be back I need my phone so I can look things up yay oh my god it's gorgeous in here let's pick one of these beauties out I'm a plant mom. I picked this little guy out. This one just spoke to me. Here's a better look. I think it's got instructions, but the sign said to water it once a week. I can do that. I'm gonna start with her on the, the island in the kitchen and go from there. I was in there probably 10 minutes circling the orchid display. I wanted to get one with a darker pot. I think I like some of the other flowers better if they were like pink vases and stuff. I didn't really want a pink vase. Part of it is blooming here, but not up here. I know nothing about plants, flowers, orchids, all of the above. I could do this when we got home, but it's more fun now. I need to know everything there is to know about this plant right now. Water when potting medium is nearly, potting medium is nearly dry. Usually every seven to 10 days. I can do that. Medium to bright, indirect light. Okay, perfect. Feed, no need to fertilize to enjoy the first bloom, then monthly. What does that mean? It blooms monthly. I don't know what that means. I don't know if you guys see this. This brown pole here, and there's another one here. It looks like a drive through right? It's got the Chipotle symbol on it, and it says digital, what does it say? Digital pickup. I've never seen that. I've heard that they had Chipotle drive throughs That is so exciting. I love that. But who is that beautiful lady? I'm home. Let's move this. She's held on for a while. They were holding on. Let's see how it looks. I may buy like something different for the center stand, but we'll see. There was some with like really pretty purple leaves and white and yellow and pink. And I, that's great for spring, but I wanted to see if this went with the aesthetic of the house a little bit more. Do you think? I do think pink or white or yellow would have been pretty in here. Now I'm, now I'm second guessing it. 
we're gonna see. I feel like it needs to be watered. Oh my gosh, I can get one of those cute little watering bottle, water, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, water when potting medium. What is potting medium? This thing, the thing in the middle? Oh, allow plant to drip dry before returning to decorative pots. Oh my goodness. Allow plant to drip dry before returning to decorative light. Medium to bright, not direct. Medium to bright, 65 to 75 room temperature. Okay, okay. Get a little shower. How much water do you need? Am I overwatering it? The water's coming out the bottom now. So did I do that right? Allow to drip dry. Okay, we're gonna allow her to drip dry. I'm gonna straighten up in here. That was a fun day. I hope it blooms a little bit more, but I think this is definitely what I'm going for. I just hope that like, maybe I should have gotten one that had the bigger blooms and was more of a color, but we're gonna see. I, I don't regret it yet, but I'll let you know. I won't get rid of her. I'll find another spot for her. Suggestions of something that can go here instead of doing like this, like, weekly comment down below thanks for hanging out with me it was a fun day and um as always i love you guys and i'll see you next time